Alrighty, hello everyone, welcome to Onion Skin, and this is the first part in a little mini-series I'm calling Controlling the Beast. I did a feature appearance on Draw with Jazza recently, where I showed off various components of how this scene was put together here, but none of how to actually use it. So that's what we're going to start doing right now. There's links in the descriptions to all the different working files that this is made up of. So today we're going to be looking at the file that's called just monster. <laughs> this is one that's all about uh, bone deformers and the rig type. When you open it up, if you are hoping to have a play around with the bone rig, you're out of luck. You can't really do a whole lot. It's just kind of there. You kind of pick up artwork and move it around, I suppose, but um, you, you'll probably get lost quite quickly. So let's have a look around this file. I'll show you how it works. So first of all, uh, down here on the timeline view, there's two pegs. This first one here called peg monster 2 open that up you see the timeline will get pretty ridiculous pretty quick each one of these dots represents a point of movement for the arms and the body as it goes down you can see there's two main sets one called curve one called bone this is because I use two different types of uh, bone deformers uh, to demonstrate with so if you've opened this file in harmony essentials you'll probably find that this arm here is broken. That's because that was using curved deformers and they were only available in Harmony Premium, I'm afraid. Uh, but these ones should work fine. To get it working, right click on this top toolbar here and select Camera View. You'll see these tools will appear, uh, including this orange one here. So select the arm and press that button and you'll see the skeleton will appear. So if I select all of it, and press it, you'll see I get both skeletons, one for each arm. And you need to use the free transform tool, which is this one here, in order to pick up and move these bones around. So you can see over the wrist there, that will allow me to pick up and move the piece like that. Whereas over the bone itself will simply rotate. This arm's a bit different. That runs on curves and you see that it will curve with the handles. I've demonstrated all this before. Uh, but to create your own one, it's pretty easy to do. Create a new layer by pressing this button here. Hit add and close, a new drawing will appear at the top. And I'm just going to paint uh, just a block like that. There we go. And right click up on this top toolbar and press on deformation. That will cause these controls to appear. Click the one of the hammer and spanner. And your cursor will turn to these two circles and click once at the top once halfway down, once at the bottom, and bam, just like that, you've created a skeleton rig. Go back to your deform, sorry, your free transform control, the skeleton will turn green, and look at that, it's already working. The top one is like a hinge, it picks it up and start doing stuff like that. Um, and that's it, it's really, really simple and easy to use. Uh, so that's bone deformers. They get stupidly deep, there is, an absolutely absurd amount that you can do with these things, but that's the basics. That's how you can get one up and running. That's how you can play with this file as well. So to continue digging through these layers, turn things on and off, I don't know. At least now you can play with this. That's the point of this video. Uh, so have some fun. I'll catch you in the next one. 